This is a short demonstration on how to wire low voltage inputs inside of an LCND micropanel. There are two types of micropanels, an iDIM, which stands for integrated dimming, and an IDH, which stands for integrated daylight harvesting. An iDIM panel consists of four photocell inputs, eight dry contact inputs, a 24 volt output, and four 0 to 10 volt dimming outputs. An IDH panel consists of the same inputs as an IDIM panel without the four 0 to 10 volt dimming outputs. I will first demonstrate how to wire a photocell into the panel. The only type of LCND photocell that can be used for a micropanel is a three wire photocell with the red, green, and blue wires. First, Pull off the terminal block for the photocell inputs and open the terminals for 24 volts, ground, and the input that is going to be used and open the terminals with a flathead screwdriver. Place the red wire into the 24 volts, the green wire into ground, and the blue wire into the input and tighten each of the terminals. Plug the terminal block back into the photocell terminals on the control card and wiring of the photocell is now complete. Next, I will demonstrate how to wire an occupancy sensor into the micropanel. The only type of occupancy sensors that will work in an LCND system is an occupancy sensor with a relay output. This is usually indicated with a dash R on the part number. First, read the documents included in the box for the occupancy sensors to determine which color wires are for the 24 volt input, ground, normally open contact of the relay, and the common for the relay as the color differs depending on the manufacturer. Pull off the two pin terminal block with the 24 volt and ground terminals and open both terminals using a flathead screwdriver. Place the 24 volt wire into the 24 volt terminal and the ground with the relay common wire into the ground terminal then tighten the terminals using the screwdriver. On one of the yellow scene input wires, tie the normally open wire of the occupancy sensor's relay output using a wire nut. This completes the wiring of an occupancy sensor. The dry contact closure inputs can also be used for other purposes such as using an analog switch, integrating AV controls, a fire alarm, or anything that can provide a dry contact. This last demonstration will be for the 0 to 10 volt dimming outputs on the control card. Only a 0 to 10 volt dimming ballast can be used with an iDIM panel. These ballasts will typically have four wires. One wire is for the line voltage input, one wire is for the neutral, a gray wire for the 0 to 10 volt ground, and a purple wire for the 0 to 10 volt dimming control. There are four dimming outputs that are available and each output corresponds to each of the first four relays on the panel. For example, dimming output number one is for the load tied to relay one on the panel. First, pull off the terminal block for the 0 to 10 volt dimming output and open the terminals for common and the output channel to be used. Place the violet wire into the input. Then the gray wire into the common and tighten each terminal using a flathead screwdriver. Plug the terminal block back into the control card and the wiring for the dimming output is now complete. Never land a wire with high voltage on the 0 to 10 volt output of an iDIM because this will instantly damage the control card. For technical assistance, please call one 800 345-4448.